All right. So remember this, we've been talking about the region protectors. And today we're going to talk about the mountains and basin. Now, things to think about while we're um, looking at our PowerPoint, our economics, so how the region makes its money. The climate, so the weather impact, the weather. Vegetation, so any plant life that we see. And then our natural resources. So that's items that we find in the uh, in this region uh, that are from the land. Okay, so we're gonna watch the last part of our PowerPoint, um, and then we'll come back and we'll discuss the, these four cate categories for the mountains and basins region. On the bus again to the mountains and basins region. We now see the only major city located in the mountains and basins region, El Paso. El Paso is a very picturesque city with the mountains in the background. It is a popular tourist spot because it is located on the Rio Grande and directly across the river is another large urban center Sindad Juarez, Mexico. El Paso is located on the U.S.-Mexico international border. This city is also the commercial center for the Upper Rio Grande Valley through Malquistadoras factories. These factories are built in both Juarez and El Paso and serve a source of labor for countries such as the U.S. Germany and Japan. Cattle, sheep, and goats are raised here. Farmers grow cotton, fruits, vegetables, and cantaloupe. There are also the Pecos and Rio Grande rivers. Oil and gas can be found in this region. The mountains and basins region was chosen for the McDonald Observatory. The atmosphere is unpolluted and remote. That means not a whole lot of people or city life. Operated by the University of Texas, the McDonald Observatory has some of the most advanced and sophisticated astronomical equi equipment in the world, allowing scientists to stargaze and study the heavens. Quick check. Think about what you've learned about the economy in the cities. Okay, let's continue with our tour. The mountains and basins region is located in the western portion of Texas. This region receives less than 10 inches of rain a year. It has warm to hot days and cool nights. The mountains and basins region is located in the western portion of Texas. This region receives less, again, less than 10 inches of rain per year. It has warm to hot days and cool nights. The 
The mountains in Texas are part of the Rocky Mountains, which stretch through the western United States from Mexico to Canada. The Texas Rocky Mountains are made up of many small mountain ranges. There are three distinct mountain ranges in this part of Texas. The Davis Mountains in the center of the region, the Chisos Mountains in the Big Bend National Park area, the Guadalupe Mountains border Texas and Mexico near the El Paso area. This national landmark is called Rock Window. This region has many towering peaks located in its vast, arid, rugged, rugged wilderness. Because of the unique beauty of the land, tourism is a major part of this, of this region's economy. St. Alana Canyon in Big Bend is another beautiful example of the natural landscape found in the mountains and basins region. The towering walls of the canyon are so close together in some places that it is possible to touch one side when standing on the other. The canyon walls are beautifully reflected in the calm waters of the Rio Grande, which flows through the canyon. The canyon is open to skilled canoeists and rafters but there are some sections which are challenging even for experts because of the huge piles of fallen rock in the river. Quick check. What have you learned about the vegetation, economy, natural resources, and climate? Okay, so let's think about and look at what we just went over with the mountains and basins region. Let's look at the economics. How does the re there we go. How does the region make its money, Alasia? Um by the sculptures. What do you mean? Like explain what you're explain your reasoning. Like when like if some if people like go where like the rocks were, mm -hmm. they might like take photos of them. Good. Yeah. So that's considered tourism when people come to uh, certain areas there and it provides money. That's considered tourism. Very good. Okay, that was one of the main pieces. Tamaya, what was another piece? By the factory. Good, very good, Tamaya. Yes, so the factories, factories that they have there is how they make their money. They, all the goods and things that come from those factories, they send those off to other people, other countries, and that's how they also receive money. Very good. Brian, what is the climate or the weather in this region? Brian? Brian? What's the, Brian? The weather is hot. Hot wind. Is it hot all day and night? No, just hot all day. So hot during the day. What is it like at night? Cold during the night. Good. Hot during the day, cold at night. Does it rain a lot? No. No, not at all. 10 inches of rain per year. Not week, not month, year. Okay, so think about that. There are 12 months in a year, 365 days out of all of those days, they don't even receive a foot of rain. Okay, so it's very, very, very dry. Very, very, very dry. 
which is why you were able to see the cactus in that region because remember cactuses grow in regions or areas that do not have a lot of rain because they are able to store water within themselves we talked about that i believe yesterday when we looked at the cows eating the cactus so that they could get water okay very good brian okay vegetation We just talked about one, so we did see some cactus there. Did we see a lot of plants in this in this region? Tamaya? Um yes, ma'am. So we had so we had the cactus, but we also had some crops. What were some of those crops? Do you remember? No, ma'am. Uh Alasia, do you remember what some of the crops were? No. Okay, let's look at our PowerPoint. So let's go back. Okay, it's on this slide. What kind of field does that look like? Alasia. A flower field. Is it flowers? What is the stuff that's this stuff right here? Can you see my mouse? Yes. Okay, this stuff right here, what does that look like? Garlic. Garlic? Not quite. Tamaya, what is the stuff in this in this picture look like? Um, poly. Po you said poly? Yeah. Like pollen? Like yeah. The stuff that like give you allergies? Not quite. This is actually cotton. So cotton, yes, sir. I see your hand. Yes, sir. It's a cotton field. It's a cotton field. So if you look at the cotton, if you look at the top of it, it's like a little white um it's like white and so this cotton is what we use to make our clothes okay so they have cotton fields and that allows them to go through uh that's one of the crops that they have within their area so that's one of the pieces of vegetation that they would have So they have cactus, they have cotton. They also have fruits, vegetables, just like every, any other place because they, they also have to feed themselves. But one of the main fruits that they have is cantaloupe. Okay. And so lastly, what are some natural resources that we see in this region? Alasia. Um. We found. One of them starts with an O, and it's located in every single region in Texas. What is it? Oil. Huh? Oil. Oil. So oil, remember, that's our big, that's Texas is big money maker. Texas is really, really big on oil. So with oil comes oil and, oil and gas go together. Oil and gasoline go together. So that's also located in this region. You find oil and gas everywhere in Texas. That is one of the state's biggest money makers is oil and gas. So that's going to be found everywhere. Okay, so thank y'all for tuning in this morning. Remember, your project is due is is due either today or tomorrow. Technically, tomorrow is a school holiday, so we will not be on tomorrow. Um, I will see y'all Monday, but you may also send me any uh, pictures 
If you don't finish them today, send them to me tomorrow. Thank y'all for being so engaged. I have received um, a lot of pictures from most of you that are on the call. So thank you so, so much for uh, getting that work done. And I look forward to seeing the rest of your projects. Have a good weekend, y'all. Be careful. Bye-bye. See you later.